So guys, in my recent videos, I've just been complaining about paying attention to these steering bushings. And I backed the 818 in here to look at the hydraulics. And check this out. The whole nut's missing off this left side. The other side's loose. Aye, aye, aye. Tell you what. Bad operators, bad juju. I'll be honest with you guys, though. I don't know when the last time was I was actually underneath this tractor. I don't spend a lot of time working on this tractor. This tractor spends a lot of time working anymore. There was a point in time where the seat pan was always up. But I just haven't had to be into this tractor lately. And, and that's been good, but I'm glad I'm getting down here and looking it over for PA Plow Day. And uh, this series of next repairs on this thing is going to be for that. Just going to be checking some things over. Um, seeing if there's anything that needs dealt with. Uh, at the moment, that is one. Um, can you guys see up in there? Where's it at? Yes. Okay, can I hold the flashlight and the camera? And then use my left hand. Where's that? Okay. You guys see how loose the bolt is there? And if we look down there. I don't know if you guys can see the hydraulic valve. Okay. Can you guys see the shiny spot on the hydraulic valve? Here you go. See, it's not quite pushing it fully in, and that's why the hydraulics are slow to lift on this thing. They drop fine. Because dropping, you have a whole lot more stroke because right there it's locked in the float. And right there is, it's not doing anything. And see how much play you have back here? So I think that's my problem. If I tighten that nut up, it'll help a lot. And the other thing is... It would appear like it's hitting the shift plate. Now, I can't see what's hitting, but I'm assuming there's the ram. Okay. I'm assuming it's the pins up in here by the frame hitting. I don't know. I might take the shifter plate off and mess with this instead of from down below, but. Trying not to take too much apart, just kind of looking things over. I stumbled across the steering problem there, so I figured I'd get you guys out, but I don't. Nothing else too alarming. The only other thing I have is the reverse side rod. When forward is engaged, it, it rattles around, so I'm going to take and put a bolt through that instead of a pin, like it's back there. Um, I'm going to fix the. Oh, I'm going to put the cage nuts in the dash, because this tractor here, I mean, the bolts are always backed out of it. Every time I look at this tractor, I tighten them up, and next time I go by, they're loose again. So, I'm going to fix that. Stuff like that. Nothing, like, super, super altering at this point. Um, I might as well get up. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to add wheel weights. Just because for plow day, not a bad idea to pack on as much weight as you can. I'm trying to shut all my flashlights off so they're not dead. And the other thing, I think I'm going to do a minimum, I'm going to paint this battery door. I don't know if you guys remember or not, but when I got this tractor, it had no battery door. This is out of a different one, so paint the, uh, the top side of this. The hood, I think I'm just going to leave the hood alone. It was brush painted, but, you know, what are you going to do? Um, might paint the weight bracket and the front rims. That's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. Now, obviously, this is just going to be spray bomb, so. But, hopefully, it'll be a, a decent spray bomb. We're going to try. Nothing else. I at least want to paint the outsides. I care less what the insides look like. But. That's a thought, and if 
I can pick up some more weights, that'll be good. Right now there's six on the front. And I wasn't having any trouble with steering when I was playing with this. Granted, I'm in a flat garden, but... Uh, you're kind of dependent upon what the guy in front of you does. You're kind of stuck following him around. You guys know how that goes if you've ever been to a plow day. So... I've done it with a farm tractor, never with a garden tractor yet. Um... Other than that, not a whole lot of stuff. Debating about cleaning the carb just for its and giggles. Uh, I'm just going to be checking some things over. And going to go from there. That's all I got at the moment. Bring you guys along as I find some problems. Or I start fixing them. The other thing I would like to do is I'd like to put a seat cover on this thing. Because this seat is comfy. And it's the seat that came with it. But it is ugly. It is peeled apart. Top, bottom, it's cracked, I guess. Right there, over there. I put some black duct tape on it years ago just so the foam wasn't showing, but obviously that's not a real good repair. So, all right, gentlemen, I'm gonna start working. Uh, I guess I'm gonna start with the steering and figure out if I can, if I can have a nut handy that'll go on that. From what I remember, that's an odd size that I probably don't have in my bolt bins. But so here we go. The 818 saga. I, I don't know if this video will happen all over this weekend or if it's going to be probably a multi multi part project. Because probably, well, I'm going to pull the hood off. Uh, what do I need to pull the hood off for? Oh, yep. Yeah. Put the nut zerts, or nut zerts, yeah. The snapping cage nuts in the dash. Pull the hood off for that. Um, and I can paint this while it's off. I don't know, I might paint this. The kind of the brush strokes are kind of bothering me looking at it. It looks good from far, but if you're, if you're right up close to it, you can see it. Doesn't matter. But anyhow, here we go, guys. So guys, what you guys are looking at is not motor oil. That is the hydraulic oil that came out of the 818. Burnt or water to it. I mean, there's a little bit of red to it, but man, is it dark. But, uh, yeah, because I fixed... I fixed the loose lift rod or a good majority of it anyhow. And that didn't do squat. Uh, actually, it was worse because the valve opened the whole way. And I pulled the cap off the tank and looked in, and man, was she black. So, I drained that out, put some of my Yanmar special fluid in there, and it seems like it's working pretty good now. Might have a little over full. It is definitely over full. Let me put the cap back in here, kind of loose. I might have to suck some of that out or drain some more out. No, well, I think right there is the fullest it's going to be. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, because the rod's the whole way in the cylinder. Alright, let me crank this thing up. This is another two handed one. So now you hold back on the valve and she's fairly fast. If you rev it up, that's about the way I'd expect it to work. Slower at idle and, and fairly fast when it's revved up, so. So pretty good to go there. I haven't done anything with the steering yet. I've done everything but that. Um, so that's going to be the next thing here. I guess I'll fandangle with. I wasn't planning on changing the hydraulic wheel, but when I saw how bad it was, I figured that might have been it, and that definitely was. But tightening up that rod wasn't a bad thing either. Mm-hmm. So anyhow, until I find, until I fix some more problems, here we go. Oh, I did get the uh, the cage nuts in the dash, too. I actually broke one, so... So basically, with every uh, 
every bag of 25 you get one spare because 6 does not divide into 25 evenly. So, got that done. So now, I'm probably going to leave the hood off just so i got some more light down there. But See if I can't find a nut for that. Here we go. Well, there's a nut holding the camera. Doi. This is so nice to be able to do, guys. Put them snap-in nuts. So nice. So guys, got the wheel weights put on here. These are actually the weights off of Mom and Dad's Super Cub. The weights I thought I had would work are actually front wheel weights or 408 wheel weights. I have a buddy looking for 8 inch wheel weights, so I think I'm going to sell those to him. Unless I just stick them on so that way I don't have to paint the front wheels. <laughs> That'd be a good gimmick, huh? I didn't think about that. That's not a bad idea. Anyhow, got those on there. And as you guys saw in the last clip, the hood's back on, shifter plate's back on, hydraulics are working. So, now all i got to do is decide if I'm going to paint, and or if I'm going to stick them wheel weights on the front. Do I want to weight this thing down real, real heavy? Or do I just want to sell them weights? Or do I want to paint the front wheels? Or do I want to just take a wire wheel to them and see what they clean up like? I'm going to go with option three. Tomorrow night, going in to watch, uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it on YouTube or not, but Highway Through Hell on the Weather, weather Channel Tow Trucks. Canadian, eh? So anyhow, later guys. So pretty bright out there with them. Have a couple floods. Mm -hmm. Later, gentlemen. Alrighty, guys, so today I hauled the 81... 63, even though it still says 8162 on the hood, in the work and pressure washed it. And boy, does that look 100 times better. What do you guys think? I did miss a couple spots. I noticed that later, actually on the way home. I could see it in the rearview mirror of the truck. Don't ask me questions. But, it looks a whole lot better without uh, all the mold looking stuff growing over it. So, uh, it actually needs, um, you know, like scrubbed with like a sponge and that'll put like a shine to it. And, I mean, this thing over here needs like a similar thing. Notice because I painted something and it looks way out of place now. Yeah. So anyhow, back over here. I took the carb apart again. And I put the float in out of the other carb. This... There's no, there's nothing in it, but just trying stuff. And, you know, I was getting kind of irritated with this thing. And so far, so far, for the three minutes I had it running in the shop, it seemed to run a lot better. Maybe still not perfect, but a lot better than what it was. Um, I got everything shut up for the night here. I would start it because it's pretty warm out. It's in the 50s right now. Tomorrow's supposed to be in the 60s, but as you guys can hear in the background. It's raining, so, and I actually have some stuff bought, which I'm going to hopefully try and get it tomorrow night while it's not raining, at least get it home, and I can screw with it over the weekend, while the corner, what the hell, oh, what is it, the corner, I don't even know how you pronounce it, but the corn, hmm, it's like the beer, and I can't think of what it is, the cor. The Corna 19 virus, whatever the whatever the heck it is, I can't think of it right now for some reason because I'm so mad and tired of hear about it, hearing about it. So uh, I'll get those home before they shut down the whole state and I don't want to go anywhere or something dumb. And yeah, you'll have some walk behinds to screw with. It's a nice load of stuff, guys. Just trust me. So anyhow, later, guys. You don't send another tractor out to do the ED18's job. This is what happens. So let's see what we can do, old girl. I'm pretty sure the 818 has the weight, so let's just 